Hi, my name is Jason Tardy, and I'm a professional juggler and fire eater. After a lot of my shows, especially when I'm doing fire eating, uh, that's probably the most common question I get is how? How do you do that, right? Well, uh, first of all, I wanna say this. Don't do it. It is dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing, if you don't understand the exact way to do it, you can be burned. And even if you do know the right way to do it, you're probably going to get burned. Uh, I've burned my eyelashes, eyebrows, uh, obviously around my face many, many times. So it is very dangerous. But I'm gonna tell you the science behind it and how all this craziness works. Uh, first off, I'm not actually eating the fire. Of course, that's pretty obvious, but sometimes young kids, they think somehow I'm swallowing fire, it's going down to my belly. No, I'm putting the fire out. A fire needs three things to burn. It needs heat, right, which we get from the lighter, uh, fuel, which I dip my torches in, and oxygen, which is around us all the time. And what I'm doing to put out the fire is cutting off the oxygen, um, which is the most important way to put out the fire. Um, but also I'm doing a couple other things. First thing to know is that when you have fire, right? Get this torch ready for you. When you have fire, heat rises, right? Underneath this torch right now, I can put my hand really, really close. It's not that hot. If I put my hand right here, which is a lot higher than this was below, like way up here, that's hot, okay? It gets really hot really fast. Hot air rises. That's why hot air balloons rise. You heat up that air inside the balloon, it's hotter than the air around it, pulls that balloon up into the air. So again, that's how you do it. The other thing is my mouth is very wet, right? And wet things uh, don't burn as easy. And I don't have anything special in my mouth. A lot of people think that I put like some kind of fluid or I rinse my mouth out with something ahead of time. I don't, there's nothing in my mouth, just normal saliva and spit. And that protects it as well. So because the heat is rising, I'm lowering it down like this. All the heat is going up and the saliva protects my mouth. And again, the way you do it is you cut off the oxygen and it's very, very simple. And I'll show you with this candle right here. Get this. But yeah, you can see this candle. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it okay. There we go. If I put this glass jar over it, right? We can see that, but you notice the flame is getting lower and lower and lower and lower, and then it's out, right? Didn't take too long, but basically what happened was I starved this thing from oxygen. It burned off all the oxygen inside the jar and went out all by itself. When I do a fire torch, I'm doing essentially the same exact thing. The fire is much bigger, and my mouth isn't a whole lot bigger than this jar, right? So it goes out pretty quick. So basically by covering my mouth around it, lowering it straight down, all the heat is going up. And at the last minute I close my mouth, eats up all the oxygen in my mouth and goes right out. So that is the basic idea of how fire eating works. It's all about having that moist mouth, having the heat rise out, tipping your head just right, cutting off the oxygen long enough to do it. Now, when I first started, I started with a very small flame. I worked my way up. Now I can do much bigger flames and I can do a few tricks. So I want to end the video by doing a few fire eating tricks. Nothing too fancy. Uh, it's not something I practice a lot, but I can do a few cool things. Uh, this first one, I'm going to actually light my tongue on fire and then light the other torch off, off it. All right now you're probably wondering, how did you not just burn your tongue? Okay, I did. <laughs> That's the secret to that one. Um, when you do that trick, a lot of times, the heat from the torch still gets on your tongue enough that it kind of feels like I had a small sip of hot coffee. It's not bad, um, but yeah, it actually can burn your tongue a little bit just by doing that trick. And the, it's the fuel is burning on top of my tongue. So again, that heat is rising. So even though it looks like my tongue itself is on fire, it's actually the fuel sitting on my tongue that is burning. All right, another trick real quick. Now this one uh, took me a little more practice to get, but uh, I'm gonna try to hold the fuel in my mouth 
And then what's actually gonna happen is there's gonna be gas in my mouth that stays lit and I'm gonna light it off of that. So it's not gonna be my tongue, there's actually gonna be a ball of fire in my mouth. Yeah. So that's my fire eating. Uh, that's how it works. Now you know. Don't try it, but uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> it looks really cool. I have to admit, but again, don't do it. I know a lot of times people tell kids not to do it. I find it's all the adults I have to worry about, and you know who you are. So don't do it. Thanks again, guys. Uh, hopefully you'll check out some of my other videos, how to juggle and um, other crazy world records I've set. But uh, hopefully I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. In the now. Future, you have this moment. Future.